We're, we're still looking at the iPad. Uh, we don't want to just port existing apps to the iPad because the, the user experience is much different. Um, in, in fact, the, the latest research, research I've, I've seen on it, it, a lot of people are using the iPad more for, for web as opposed to apps. And I'm not sure if that's based on the initial set of apps that were available to them on the iPad or if it's just because of the bigger screen and the UI is much more conducive to a full-blown web experience. So when we go to the iPad, and I'm sure we will, we want to make sure that we leverage everything that, that it has to offer. You know, we have developed um, a, a product catalog that, uh, that was specifically done for the iPad. All the different digital media channels that are out there um, and being able to touch all our, or our, all our customers through them. Um, clearly, the iPad is another one of those. And uh, so we feel by developing this, this product catalog, we're, we're going to maintain that touch um, with, with our client and, or our customers and, and, you know, maintain the, the brand presence for, for Sienna. So one of the things that we're thinking about is thinking about being sort of platform agnostic. We want to be able to push content where appropriate to an iPad to the new iPhone, if it's video enabled content, we want to be able to push things to the Droid platform. Um, we want there to be Grammy content wherever there's an appropriate platform to support it. And so our new, our move to Drupal and embracing sort of open source technologies has really sort of set us up for the future and any of the changes that may come along. And so we're pretty excited about that. It's something that could be potentially part of the product, but in terms of a marketing tool, it's something that we need to get on today. It's just not high on the list in terms of everything else that we could be focusing on. We have a better use of resources and time, money, and everything, focusing on other applications like Twitter and YouTube and creating more content for those than as opposed to taking some of the dollars and shifting it towards development on something that we just don't feel confident about at this time. But once again, that's a completely different example for a lot of other brands, a lot of other brands might not need to focus as much on YouTube and Twitter and focus more on the iPad and the iPhone applications.